can't do math. The, the Joker. Ew! You, you kill, so I was gonna say, I was gonna say, the Joker like vibe and gauntlet is not done for Eliakim. However, we lied. So this is something. This Aegis is something that Lime Cookie has been working on, like on the side. Okay. Like, the Ike is still there, and Ike is just like a fundies character. The Joker is his focus. But the Aegis is also there, and you could argue Aegis is also a Fundy's character. Character's not that complex, so yeah, she's very simplistic. And if you have if you have a basic control uh, understanding of how Smash works and how your opponent really what, and what your opponent wants as their character, you can play Aegis and you can really beat out a lot of her matchups that kind of aren't as fun. And especially with Power Up, be taking it not quite yet, but at a really high percentage like that, 132 is definitely where you're seeing Power shine specifically in this. Uh, between the two, between uh, Mithra and Pyra. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we've basically just seen the Pyra, oh, yeah. that entire stock from Lime, and I mean, he's gonna drop that stock first, but it's interesting to consider just how different both Pyra and Mithra and what makes them good are, as I guess Flame Nova just ended up working, sure. I mean, uh, yeah, you got it, like, <laughs> like my like, fault. Sometimes you got it, like. Like side B, Ooh, yeah, side B. that works. Oh, <laughs> I like that. I like Love that recovery it. mix up, right? Because everyone's thinking, oh, here comes the, pho uh, here comes the Photon Edge, no. Get mixed. <laughs> Get mixed. Which I, I love to see some mix up on the ledge and I, I kind of keeping like Lime Cookie alive right here. The first two into grenade, trying to connect with the up there, but we're gonna continue with the four tilts instead. I really like that too. I that like really him. Cool. That was saucy. <laughs> like, okay, I see you. That is so cool. Like he's really hard to play around and he's really hard to play against. But when you get to however many different snake players, you got MVD, Apollo Kage, like you know, Shogun. Dio, like all of these different snake mains, and you can look at them and think like, oh, wow, that's this snake. This snake does that. Like, yeah, because each snake, like I said, plays differently, Bobo yeah. plays differently, and they're in the same yeah. area. They're literally both in Westchester. And like that, as, as you were talking, you're seeing how Lyakim is able to take the stock lead as well, and extra credit for his efforts, but they were going to down there and interrupting it with the C4, or the grenade right there, and that is how Lyakim is going to be avoiding that down there upper that powers love to go with. Shooting right through the side B as well. What can we be seeing here? All right, throwing grenade. I respect it. Want to some space away from this uh, this Pyra? Yeah, just playing around Pyra in all other facets. Like seeing just things operate over that nature. is not going to do it quite yet. And not trying to chase down with a dash attack either. Just choosing to be more safe when covering space. Like, Ooh. oh, the grenades. The grenades are going to override the internal DI in order to make sure the multi-hit works. Mm -hmm. At this percent, grenade is just so, you have so much knockback that the side B won't work. <laughs> You know what, I respect Eliakim Kim keeping this much distance away from Pyro because you don't want Pyro to come in close, you don't want Pyro to do anything that she really wants to, and Lime Cookie isn't going to foolishly change to Mithra for the speed because then you're sacrificing that heavy factor that Pyro has, that, that damage that Pyro has as well. And Eliakim Kim is, not, is gonna be living even longer, 177%, we are at deep, the deep red grenade on the ledge and trying to get these up tilts already down and dusted into the up air. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Why are they sitting up? <laughs> I really wish I knew. I really, sit back I down. really wish I knew. Sit down. So sit your ass down. You already saw. They're gonna be running it right back. Show the little hand motion. Um, running it right back up. Definitely. Now and running it back, stage-wise or character-wise, I don't know. Yeah, that that'll be an interesting. I don't know. They are oh. running it back character-wise. Uh, what you need to do, as our uh, as, Mime Cookie, is the utility of what makes uh, you need to a i think play a little bit more mithra because mithra has better empty movement and has and plays around burst range a little bit better and what really can shut snake down and actually force him into disadvantage a little bit stronger is grabs and yeah. mithra has a really really good grab game even if it's just like get a grab forward throw or you know down throw in this case down throw forward air gets the damage going like that kind of tools will stop Snake from pulling grenades and put Snake into tech scenarios, put Snake into off stage scenarios, and just keep less garbage on the stage. <laughs> No, you're, kind of, you're completely right. You're already seeing the Mithra actually kind of keeping it pretty uh, even footing against Eliakim right here. Thankfully, not switching to Pyra just yet. Loving the double up there, but now we're going back to the Pyra and getting a little bit of damage off of that sitting grenade on the ledge. And we're going to be contesting. Oh, I like that use of the down tilt from Eliakim to just contest the side beat right there uh, from Pyra, the, the special from Pyra right there. Magic fire or some steel toed boots, right? Mm. Yeah. Snake, Snake be built different, and he's equipped to do the job, just like with that Edgeguarder 9000, the Nikita 
sending stra going straight into the uh, horizontal recovery from Lime Cookie, and he's gonna be down a stock yet again after, again, a really good early game into a drop stock. But when you have callouts like that and hitboxes like that, Things it should works. totally go in your favor. <laughs> it should be going in your favor, especially because now we're switching right back to the Mithra, just for some speed, definitely for some combos as well. This this is definitely the combo part of the character. Um, Mithra, look at this. Array coming in with only 36% on Lycan, and just contesting that speed, that aggression that Lycan wants to yield onto his character. And power is able, uh, Mithra is able to do that just as efficiently. But check the damage here, Mott. Like, despite the control and the, the aggression that Lime Cookie mm -hmm. has shown up, the damage is still was for, for a while even, but now heavily in Alikin's favor. He gets the grab also. I like so that, that that coverage. jump back into dash attack, into the up tilt from, from the from the edge. Oh, you were Alikin is like ten futures ahead of like futures ahead of us. Yeah. Bro is in the zone. Man's looking at a different parallel universe because in this one. This one is going, everything is going according to plan. Absolutely. Dashing away from the grab. I love it. Just the movement that Lycan is also using, the evasive movement away from Pyramithra is beautiful. And the continued use of these grenades into up bears is just, it is working. It's it's working. It's doing wonders for him. I love it. Only 80% has slowly more rage on that snake as well. We're back to the Mithra quite early as well. Oh, we're back to the Pyra. Really easily. Try and get these down there into up airs. I know what you're trying to do. I see the vision, but shooting right through these side beats all over again. I want to pat myself on the back a little bit because the the brawl snake analogy just feels so correct for how Eli Kim is playing. Just very grounded, focusing on the uh, the instant utility of. Good job, Ubo. Why do you have these on hand? Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Nice. Um, <laughs> we're, we're just seeing a very, like, simple formula for what is making Eliakim do so well. It's like it is accruing information, playing grounded, utility of grenade and grenade timers. Like, there's a whole lot of stuff you can do with, uh, with Snake's tool set. These faint tosses, these uh, Z-catching, all of that good stuff. That's funny. But you can just keep it simple and play good stuff, Snake. And it works out like a charm, as I don't know what that Prominence Revolt was, but he had an up tilt for his troubles and a two-stock for Eliakim looking was, very nice. It was a double whammy, because Eliakim set up Grenade right there, and then set uh, went in with the Prominence Revolt, set up another Grenade, hit the Pyro from the activation of the Prominence Revolt hitbox, and then was like, all right, up tilt. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. It's like, oh. For me, you shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, uh, I like him. It's like, oh, I just did this. I just did this. You all play the same. I just did this. I said, you don't use gun. <laughs> it's a different use of gun, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what's the... I, don't know, uh, I can't think of a proper analogy at this point, but effectively what Lime likes to do is use a lot of short hop movement and use a lot of his... Uh, use a lot of Joker's tools as a mid to close range, yeah. while Beats use its gun like on approaching and on retreating, while Lime likes to do a lot more like a, a lot more A button, a lot more normals. Uh, neither are wrong, but when it comes to Snake, like both can, using a lot of normals, uh, using normals excessively even, can get very, very uh, troublesome very, very quickly. Again, I love the fact that Lycan just kind of waits out the grab and just dr does a dash back to react to what Lime Puffy was going to uh, Roll towards left or right or just in place. But again, look at this. Uh, Arsen all right back and out. Uh, active just to save uh, save the day, as always. A little bit of curse damage also on Lycan. Wrecking up to almost 90%. Love the downer usage as well. It's a strong move. And pretty much keeping percentage up and active. What is going on here? We see Arsen coming in and he is gone. Oh, I love the use of the, of, uh, the C4 to so just... Keep his recovery options very open uh, away from that back air. Oh my goodness. Okay, that works. Yeah, Snake having having advantage in scramble situations is kind of Snake's MO. Yeah. Like, guys, oh, I force explosions, it's visual noise, it's trading, it's all of this good stuff. And all of this frame data also includes the very common scenario of Snake or his opponent spot dodging in after landing or spot dodging in each other's faces. Snake having like a frame six down tilt, frame six up tilt, frame four forward tilt, like all this close range boxing tools to go with the tools to set up scrambles means that uh, Snake almost always has at the very least 
enough game for any situation. And you're seeing the absolute entourage, like, just assault of grenades and explosives on Lion Cookie in that moment. I think he literally took, like, 30% for landing on, like, three or four grenades. And finally, gained that first look off of Eliakim. But what well, can we see Lion Cookie actually continue this... Just continue this uh, this uh, assault he has on Lycan, and we're seeing it slowly with double up here. Can we go for a triple dip? Oh, we're going for the uh, an uppy uh, poke instead, but thankfully Lycan just air, air dodging right through that to avoid such a situation. Gun on shield and into the spot dodging with gun and into the dash attack. And now can we see edge guard with the Nikitas? Possibly. Excellent tag punch on the uppy. Absolutely. But an even better follow-up from Eliakim Mott. We just see the following, see the tech, and just playing around the... Just playing like reaction. You're just waiting to see where Lime Cookie was going to go, where the mix-up was. You're going to ledge. I've got a button for that. The, the, un, the uncommonly used snake down smash, by the way. Like, you know, shout out to that. It shout out to that. Yeah. It worked. I like it. It covered a, a good amount of options that yeah. beats... Not beats. I'm sorry. Lime was super limited to, but here we go. I like him. Set two stocks ahead at the curve. Our Arsene slowly coming out. I think I like him doing a great job by kind of just waiting out at a pretty respectable distance away from that Arsene. Trying to get in, a, in up and close, but you get punished for that the down air into the up airs. That's, that's why oh you gosh. have to learn your drag downs after down air. Yep. Drag down up smash on, on the platform would have guaranteed the stock. He just went for the up air though. And is uh, living, the, living the punishment for that now. Snake is still out here, still chilling. You're without Arsene, and, for you've, a got, while. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you've got a long way. Well, maybe not anymore. Uh, <laughs> all right, my fault. Yeah. I I, I, it's not that I forgot. It's just that I like him was doing pretty okay at not initiating those grenades those, uh, grenade during Rebel's Guard, but it is what it is. Lime has Arsene once more, and I think Eliakim is definitely going to be keeping himself safe with these at this distance with these grenades as disposal with C4 as well. Look at this. We are setting up a lot right here. You cannot neutral get it. You cannot even jump on the, on the, on the platform right there. I'm going to bombard you with all these visual all these uh, projectiles, all the visual development going on, going on on the screen as well. And now our son's gone, just like that. He was never here. And it was all done by just, I'm gonna pull one grenade at a time, I'm gonna cook it, and I'm gonna throw it at you. And yep. you're gonna respect this. You have to. And that amount of respect that Eliakim has garnered throughout two very solid games and a very solid third game midway through it has just been so, so good to watch because Lime is really taking his time and respecting so many things that you could potentially find punishes for as Joker. He's just not pulling the trigger. Potential, yes. Oh, but that might be it. Absolutely no tech on the other side of the stage. So that pretty much leaves you dead. Like, you are dead. Yeah. Your tether is not that good to <laughs> come from under the yeah. stage. From under the stage, yeah. without the boost. With like, no jump. No, yeah, you had to, like, how would you recover? You would drift in with gun, wall jump, attempt tether, but you couldn't get the boost. Wow, that's tough. That's a lot. <laughs> that's... That, that, that was a do or die. Yeah. And I think those both die, actually. There was no do. It was just die and die. Yeah, it's just it's tough. That's just tough. It is but... what it is. That's a 3 0 from Eliakim. Kim. Westchester's own uh, snake player, besides Mr. Bobo himself. So, it's going to be seeing him over here in, uh, what, Losers Finals? Oh no, Grands! I'm yeah, so we're, sorry. We're, we're in Grands. grands. We're in the, we're I forget in the that we are zone. doing top four. We are we are big chilling. We are already in Grands. Where I'm sorry, winners fine. No, we're in Grands. Oh, I'm updated. I'm yeah. confused. I'm confused. Hi, Sonic Fiend. But You're we are definitely in Grands. Where Goober, 